All right, mates, we're back with another episode of TTYD Remake. Except this time, I want to show off the title screen. Because the title screen is pretty awesome. Because it does this thing where every time you reopen the game, it actually adds people to the title screen. So now we got Goombella, Hoops, Cammy, Peach, and Bowser on it. Yeah, check that. Check that fucking shit out, mate. Since I've been playing for 6 hours and 52 minutes. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna do chapter 2 today because I did chapter 1 last time. Well, actually, I've been recording all of these at the same time, but this one I'm streaming, so it makes it extra special. I don't know if I got any extra star pieces in the time being. Uh, no, no, I don't have any extra star pieces. No. Okay, I guess not. Wait, I also got attack effects Y and on simplifier to make the game more challenging. Also, I need to sort these badges properly. Oh. That looks much better. Much better. I, I gotta afford Power Plus at some point. I don't know when. But it would be nice to have. Anyways, there's not really anything left to do uh, before Chapter 2 starts, so we're just gonna go straight to it. You see Punio down there. Have you seen one of those little creatures from Boggly Woods? I hear they visit this town sometimes. Yo, what's up, Jose? Oh yeah, I need to see the spike room. How's the spike room doing? Oh wow. These spikes seem to rise and drop according to a set pattern. They must be here to keep out thieves, huh? Now that's a security system. With good timing, if you ran while the spikes were down, you'd be a shish kebab. Yeah, so we cannot do that room, obviously. We gotta wait till we get our funny transgender person. <laughs> you came just in time for the new features. You'll see a lot of new shit. I'll point it out. I'll be I'll be freaking out about it. Mario, do you see that? That was one of the things Professor Frankly described. Oh yes. You're a freak. Wait, hang on. I got a, I got a brilliant idea. Give me one second. Okay, I'm gonna see if this works. <laughs> Don't eat me. Huh? You didn't come to eat me? And you're not bullies? Guess again, nerd. You don't have time for engage? Sad. Very sad. Guess again, nerd. No, leave me alone, you big meanies. Mario, how could you? Don't you say that to him. That was very that wasn't very mature. You had to celebrate your dad's birthday. Oh, well, uh, happy birthday to your dad. <laughs> hey, don't worry, really. We're not here to be mean to you, honest. For real? Phew. Boy, that's good. I thought for a second I might have had an accident. You're one of the creatures from Boggly Woods, right? What are you doing here? What? Why do you know about me? No, you must be... You guys are working for those X-Nods, aren't you? You chased me here. No, it's the end. x knots Easy there, kid. What in the world are you freaking out about? You order so much food. Mmm, yummy food. I don't gotta do anything to you, so chill for a sec. Just tell us what's going on. Okay, this gang of bad guys who call themselves x knots came to where I live. They came inside our great tree and started tearing it apart and causing trouble. So, I've come all the way here looking for help. Mario, that sounds like those guys who attacked us in Rogueport, right? 
if they're the same guys, then they're definitely after the Crystal Star. Hmm. Now you mention it, they did say something about the some Crystal Star thingy. But we punies don't know anything about any crystals or stars. Say, could you guys help us out? Maybe chase them off? If you do, we'll give you, uh, what was it? A crystal star? If you do, we'll have the Peony Elder give you that. I don't know what it is, but if it'll help us reclaim our tree, I'm sure the other will agree. So what do you say? Let's not waste any more time. I'm begging ya. Then there's no time to waste. Oh! I have bread, salad, baked potatoes, steak, and mat chicken tenders. Mmm. Well, it's a good thing I had some hot dogs earlier, or else I would be regretting it. Really? You aren't joking? You'll do it? Oh, fuck. I had to sneeze. I'm glad I had hot dogs earlier, because now I won't be hungry. <laughs> The most I'll do is probably make tea later or something. I guess. I mean, we can't just ignore them, right? And we do need to find the Crystal Star before those X-whatever guys do. Oh, thank you so much. This is great. I'm so happy. My name's Punio. Pleased to meet you. I'll take you to where I live. Follow me, okay? It's this way. Yo, I want damage dodge. Give me that. Give me. Boing. Boing. That's Punio, who lives in the great tree of Boggly Woods. And hey, he must be the one we saw earlier, right? Yeah, totally. Wait, hang on a second. I'm sure the Puny Elder said some bun around here opened the secret entrance. Aha! Ooh, ooh! Mario's a gonna go eat food. Anyways, I can't wait to see how Chapter Two looks because it's gonna be pretty beautiful, I think. Oh yeah, another. I think one quality of life thing I love is it does this silhouette thing when you're behind walls. The original doesn't do that. Alright. Can't equip damage dodge yet, but hey, it's an option. We're down below Rogueport. I never knew the rooms down here were connected like this. Keep your eyes peeled for more gaps like that. If you spawn any others, we should definitely check them out. We can get to the woods we punies live in by going through that pipe there. Okay, hurry, hurry. Chapter 2! The Great Boggly Tree. Also, I'm gonna give more appreciation to this new music that they add into the game. Gonna be an eventful week. Same for me, because I'm gonna be playing this game all week. <laughs> Ooh! Ugly Woods. Graduation party. These the Bogly Woods. They sure look boggling. Ooh, I got butterflies. Um, okay, this is a bit farther and we should be able to see the great tree. The elder and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, and my little sister too. Come on, let's go. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta listen to this music first. Look at the ground. This area looks beautiful. Strange and beautiful forest filled with strange and beautiful creatures. He's the Boggly Woods. Pretty surreal, huh? Looks like it's out of a picture book. It's pretty, it's pretty, but in an eerie sort of way, you know? More food. <laughs> You're gonna be like Yuyuko. 
Oh! <laughs> Time to go to work, my lovelies! Vivian, you understand what we gotta do, yes? Uh, uh-huh. A, find that Mario guy, and B, steal the map to the Crystal Stars, right? We can just do away with Mario and his friends, can't we? Or is that bad? <laughs> Yuyuko is best ghost wife. Oh, bad things happen all the time, Vivian, but you're right about our goals. If my information's correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. You must ambush him here when we get that map. Hmm? What's this now? Vivian, what's that you're frowning over there? Oh, what do you mean this? I found it near that tree over there a while back. Isn't it a gorgeous necklace? It was so lovely, I just had to pick it up. Oh, Vivian, for shame! Picking up someone's scraps! Disgusting! Greedy! But enough about that, Vivian, my dear pack rat. Bring out the sketch of that Mario guy that we got from Grotus. <laughs> uh, what? I don't have that. <laughs> Yuyuko is a ghost. He probably knows Boozette. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous. I don't have that thing. You were in charge of it. You wretched little worm, blaming me for something you probably screwed up. But I... Oh? <laughs> oh, what is it, Marilyn? Oh, what's that? A mustachioed fellow? This is no time for such nonsense, you big, you big oaf. Save your games for later. Now, now, where was I? You, Vivian. Don't tell me you lost our precious sketch. But listen, I... Look, it's not my fault. I never had the sketch. Silence, you dits! Such impudence! How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child! It's clear to me that the only rationale you understand is force! Yay! For your punishment, I'll be taking that necklace you just found. Yes, so sorry. But, but, Beldum... Oh, you're horrid. These are the Boggly Woods. Kind of a dreamily little pretty place, isn't it? Mario here. Mario here. It'd be nicer if we weren't crawling with enemies, but what you gonna do? Oh, I gotta hit all these trees. Ooh, sleepy sheep. Oh, I was wondering why my hammer was making that noise. That's the fucking... That's the fucking attack effects badge. It's making that boing, boing. <laughs> you can hit all of them, though. That's funny. Uh, oh, what am I gonna do? This is the youngest sister of the three. The oldest one really picks on her, huh? I don't know whose picture they're talking about, but you think she really lost it? Oh, oh no! I guess that's the middle sister? She seems like the strong, silent type to me. Huh. I can't get a good read on this girl at all. What is it, Mr. Mustache? Leave us! Scram! Right now! I have no business with you! This shitty woman's certainly selfish and mean. I mean, what a total meanie. You're gonna hate Nathaniel Bend even more? Uh-oh. You see how cruel she is to her own sister? I don't know what went on between them. Boom. Oh, they put a save block here. That's really nice of them. That's brand new. We got clefts. I'm gonna ignore that guy because I've already paddled him, technically. Okay, but I will fight the plant gang. Ooh, listen to this remix. Alright, Hail Piranha. He's gonna make a very mid-challenge run of TTYB remake. That's a pale prana. You know about these guys, the famous prana plants. This colorless subspecies is adapted to bodily woods. Ah, oh, the wonders of nature. If you try to jump on them, they'll totally chomp on you.
Get the plant super guard? Let's see. That is really weird. Hold on, let me try that again. Oh, sleepy sheep. Yeah, sleepy sheep. He's gonna ruin my game by doing something stupid. There we go, I got the super guard that time. Damn it, Nathaniel Bandy, how could you? This is the most origami king sounding ass music I've heard in this game so far. <laughs> Alright, let's switch to Coops real quick then. Oh, fuck. I did put on Unsimplifier, so it is making it a little bit harder. Yeah, there is a bit of censorship in this game, but I don't really mind too much. Plus, the game is beautiful anyways, so I don't really care. I like how nice this looks. Oh! There, can you see it? That big tree? That's what I was telling you about. That's where we punies live. That's home. Of course, it's not just us in the tree. Lots of jabbies and piters, too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad Mario's, um... Wait, what the fuck? Charlieton's here? Hey, yo. Charlie, what are you doing here, mate? I got all the hottest new products right here. Look no further. There's... What the fuck is he doing out here? He's just selling a... He's, he has a shop out here. Wow, that's kind of whack, dude. Okay. It's all hot. I mean, rare stuff. And you never know when you're gonna wish you had some of this gear, my man. That is so weird seeing just seeing Charlieton here. I don't know why he's here, but you know what? I'm all for it. Oh yeah, right. I got a mo I got to tattle this area. Give me a way to head to the Great Tree. Let's meet him there. You see that big tree over there? It's really big. It's kind of otherworldly, actually. Wild. What does Gumel have to say about Charlieton here? That guy's Charlieton. He's a salesman from way far away. Who now sells things in this forest, I guess. I'm not seeing any shops out here, so we should probably buy any items we might need from him. Honestly, probably for the best they put a shop out here. Because, yeah. That's not there normally. Let's listen to this music. Wow. Look at this area. This area is fun. Ooh, very atmospheric. Listen to that. Look at that FP plus. This game will be modded for the better someday. The base of the Great Tree. It sure is big up close. I mean, wowzer. Seriously. It must have washed over the boggy woods for over a thousand years. That's unbelievable. Wow. Oh, he's rooting for the underdog, or whatever he is. Oh well, take a look. 
This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. And I can't open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Oh, quit being melodramatic. Although it does look thick. What are we gonna do now? Uh. Uh. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Got it! Mario, over here! Oh, okay, I guess we're going over here. Long ago, the puny elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We'll get in that way. Uh, problem is, I doubt finding it's going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. How are we supposed to find a secret entrance? It's secret for a reason, you know? Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find it and remove the thingy. Boy, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Um... Oh, I got it! Flurry! Surely Madame Flurry's powers can help us. Flurry is a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The Elder says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can use wind power to blow the thingy away. Well, it won't hurt to try. Flurry lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so... Let's head back in the direction we came from. Okay! Very regal sounding. Oh, these woods are the most wonderful in all the world. Yes, indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I ever did have. Oh my, yes. This place is so different from the bright flash bulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace, this negative image of the real world soothes my body and soul. But what's even better is that I, Madame Fleury, grow ever more lovely here. Plus those swishy adorable little punies that live in the tree are so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to crave hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my, it's happening even as I speak. I already feel the need for drama. The moment of exhilaration when the spotlight shines down on the stage, on me. Surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. It's settled then, I shall rise again, before I make my stage comeback. I simply must whip my body and mind into shape. I'll just have to put on some makeup and make my beauty even more beautiful. Wait a moment. No, it's gone! Gone, I tell you! My... My... Yeah, I'm actually streaming it now. It's, it's, um... It's late enough. I think I am able to stream it, because technically the Europeans have it already, so... That's good enough for me. If we head east from here, we'll see Flurry's place in no time. And Mario's not doing so good. I am in danger. Hmm. Although being in danger is actually good. So I got last stand. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's a puny. Alright, hold up. I gotta do something really quick. What happened to my voice? Oh, that's my voice mod. <laughs> oh, there's a badge here. Gotta find it. Hello, badge. Where are you? There it is. P down the up P. Oh, let's fight this dark puff. Oh, free item. Yeah, you got a mushroom. Alright, let's tattle this mofo. I 
So now I think the game might be a little too loud. I'm, I've gotten to chapter two, so I don't know, I'm like an eighth done maybe. That's a dark puff. It's basically a tiny mean thunderhead. Max HP is three, attack is two, and defense zero. Sometimes it'll charge itself with electricity. Don't touch it when it does. Youch. You know what I mean, right? Bzzz, shocking. After it charges itself, it'll totally zap you with lightning. Beat it as fast as you can. And looks like it's going for it. So we're going to hammer you. And we get a level up. Yeah, level up, baby. Woohoo! I get. I need more BP. <laughs> it's just like a playing TTYD, man. Yeah, this is chapter two. In before Nintendo takes this down. <laughs> nah. Really fine. The Europeans have this already. Get a free star piece. Anyways. Swap the coops real quick. Come on. There you go. What does Goombell have to say about this area? Finally, what is the great name for this place? The trees, the flowers, even the ground boggles the mind. It's a pretty kind of boggling, though. And from a high up spot? Ooh, baby, I'm talking peak prettiness. <laughs> Goombella just said this place is peak. Alright, we're about to get one of the best badges in the game. Quake Hammer! Let's go. Definitely putting that on. Hmm. I'm not sure if I'll need Power Smash anymore. Well, I definitely don't need Pretty Lucky. <laughs> That's for sure. You know what? Let's put on Item Hog for shits and giggles. Pretty sure one of these has a star piece. Well, not if he wants to fight. Alright, perfect. Perfect battle to use my Quake on. I'm still getting a decent amount of star points from this, too. Oh, a free power block. Let's go. Can't care anymore. Oh, no. I ran out of inventory space. Uh, well, I don't need the end coupon. Time to start using some items, I guess. Like the sleepy sheep, maybe. Uh, I'm doing okay on health. Well, oh, there's something here as well. That's a Volt Shroom, I know that. There's a star piece here as well. Yep. Amazing that I remember all these locations for the star pieces. Let's look for Flurry's house. It's deep in the woods. It's definitely not right in front of us. Uh, excuse me. Um, maybe he isn't here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. Or maybe we can tattle about this place. What a totally nice house. Super coronation between the red walls and furniture. I'm so jealous it's not even funny. I have like no sense of interior decoration. Could Flurry really not be here? Let's go farther in. This house looks really nice though. Bonk. Why does a hammer have AoE damage? Because it's cool, that's why. Madam Flurry, hello. If you're here, say something. Uh, 
Oh! No! Out of the question! You mustn't come in here! Oh! Uh, Madam Flurry, are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment! Those darlings with your little footsteps! Is that you, Pinio? Oh, it's been an age since I saw you last! You poor dear, is there something you need? Uh, well, the thing is, we have a great problem. The great tree's entry hole's blocked. My peony friends are trapped inside, so they're in a pickle. And Mario needs these crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. That's why we need you to come with us and help us find the secret entrance, Madam Flurry. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that? My adorable little punio, you know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamentably, I'm in a bit of a bind myself. I just cannot come out. Oh, are you not a man? Wow, what's the matter? It's somewhat embarrassing, but I cannot ever go out without my favorite necklace. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my daily constitutional. Uh, I'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it, so I shan't be going out. Stop coping helium. Wait, am I, did I forget to change the voice? No? Too late, I like helium, man. I absolutely must have that necklace to highlight my beauty, and that's that. Oh, I totally know how you feel. When I go out, I'm all about the accessories. Hey, wait a sec. You lost your necklace? I'm having deja vu big time. I swear someone just said they found a necklace. What's that? Do speak up. You, whoever just spoke, do you have some clue as to my necklace's whereabouts? If you do, please help me. Please, be a dear. Find it and bring it back to me. After that, I will most certainly join you and help my squishy little friend, Punio. Don't worry, Madam Flurry. I'm sure Mario can find your necklace. Where it is, he's super. You can do that, right, Mario? <laughs> do the helium voice the rest of the stream? Oh, God. Sure. Great, it's decided then. Let's go find it. I'm sorry to trouble you so. <laughs> Bonk. Please, you must find my precious necklace. I'm counting on you. I feel like we saw Flurry's necklace somewhere, right? Wasn't it right after we got to the forest? Bonk. Love that you can interact with the environment. It's so awesome. Oof. Go back to it? <laughs> no. Never. I'll never go back to the helium voice. Beldum, I told you, you blamed me for losing the sketch, but you had it. Silence, you twit! Now's not the time to get hung up on stupid details! We must study this sketch. Wow! This Mario guy looks so manly! Check out that bushy mustache! How handsome! You know something, though, my lovelies. I swear I've seen this gentleman before. Ugh! He's Mr. Mustache! <gasps> Ugh, I don't believe this, Vivian. This is without a doubt all your fault. I'll be dealing out some strict punishment later, my dearie. Oh yes, I promise you that. What? That's not fair. You're the one who had the... Silence, you squirrel brain! Don't you cop that insolent attitude with me! Ugh, this is not fair. And about that necklace, I was thinking of returning it to you, but no more. Ah. Uh... And since you caused the problem, you have to figure out how to find this Mario chump. Uh -huh. <laughs> fucking love, fucking love the dynamic of the shadow sirens. Look how beautiful this place looks, though. This is the outer part of the Bobby Woods. The flowers are almost like a carpet. Hey, and isn't it totally rare to find a white-leaved tree? What kind of tree is that? Honestly, it seems like something you'd see in, like, Toho. Um, perfect cherry blossom or something, I don't know. Ah, uh, fine, I guess I'll cough up the coins. Actually, how many items do I have? Any syrup? Mmm, 
We have a bunch of FPI. We need to get we need to get rid of our our storage anyway. Sure, none of these trees have anything in them. I'm just vibing to the music now. The gradient effects here give give Paper Mario 64's gradient effects a run for their money. Seriously. Oh boy. Alright, time to save real quick. Well, if it isn't Mario. Kenny Mustache or no, you can't be too bright if you came here looking for us. <laughs> and you know why? Because we are waiting for you! Oh, that's them. They're the ones who had... Wait a minute, what? The game we got early, holy shit. <laughs> yes, Zach. I mean, Coco Man. What's that supposed to mean, you weirdo? You've been waiting for Mario? Mm -hmm. I have no quarrel with you, but I simply can't allow you to hunt for the Crystal Stars. And so I'll be taking that little map of yours just as soon as I deal with you. Hey, what's your deal? How do you know about the map and the Crystal Stars? Have you been talking to Princess Peach or... Wait, what am I saying? The real question is, who the hell are you? <laughs> Those who seek names are often disappointed, but if you insist, we'll tell you. We are... The Three... Shadow Sisters. The Three Shadow Sisters? <laughs> Not Shadow Beauties. Vivian, you nigumpoop, what are you babbling out? It's just shadows! The Three Shadows! Three Shadow Sirens! This game sucks! They got rid of Shadow Sirens! Sisters makes us sound less mysterious, and less scary. How many times must I remind you? Alright, sis. I'm sorry. It just, it made me really happy when you call me your sister, so... How insufferably scap sappy. You're gonna get some fierce punishment coming your way. Ah, gee whiz. I hate being punished. That's for later, though. First we have to deal with Mario and his friends. Let's do this, my lovelies. Marilyn and Vivian? Oh, the might of the three Shadow Sirens. Relation withheld will be more than enough to win the day. Okay. <sighs> well, let, me, let me jam out for a sec. Yeah, this goes fucking hard, holy shit. Also, what's going on with their caps? It looks really weird. <laughs> It's most unlucky that our sights are set on you. Well, unlucky for you, of course. Marilyn, Vivian, let's show them precisely what we can do. Ugh. And my fucking cord is tangled, goddammit. Okay, there we go. Yes, sis. Can't flee this fight. Alright, well, Goombella is gonna be the meat shield of this fight. That's Vivian. She's the youngest of the three shadows. She doesn't seem all that noteworthy. Uh, she's kind of cute, I guess. She might even be cuter than I am. I guess. Wow, I think I might be jealous. <laughs> Alright. Looks like a time for Quake Hammer.
Yeah, I get fucked. Oh, I got punched in the face. Oh, I'm not used to these guards. Fuck. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. I did put on simple fire, so the super guards are gonna be harder. So, yeah. That's Marilyn. She's one of the three shadows, Beldum's younger sister. She charges up her attacks occasionally. She says here, here she's the toughest of the sisters, so it might be best to defeat her first, huh? Other than that, she doesn't have any particularly outstanding characteristics. Bingo time! I haven't gotten the bingo yet. Nope. Okay. Well, let's just keep doing Quake Hammer. Yeah, yeah. Ah! You're tougher than I thought, Mr. Mustache! I guess it's time to stop toying with you, hmm? Ow. Ow. <laughs> yeah, completely effing this up. That's Beldum. She's the oldest sister, the leader of the Three Shadow Sirens. But her blizzard attack has an attack of two. She can make her partners big and make us tiny and attacks us with weird magic. The worst thing about her is that sinister snicker. She sounds so totally evil. I mean, she's just the sort of person you want to avoid like the plague, you know? Alright, it's time for uh, Earth Tremor. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> look at the house, look at how stretchy they are. Ugh! Now it's up to you! Alright, well, uh, we almost had peril strats, too. Ugh! <laughs> Yeah! Nice victory jingle, too. Uh, oh! Oh! May we're just a touch overconfident! Uh, Marilyn, Vivian, you lumps! We would have won if you two pulled your weight! Both of you, prepare for a world class punishment session when we get home! <gasps> but, but the necklace! Leave it! <laughs> Well, that was a that was a cute detail. That's Flurry's necklace. Yes, let's take it to her. Mario's not doing too good again. Okay, well we can save after that at least. Nope. Nope. Get away from me. Get away from me. Nope. Leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> Wahoo, wahoo, wahoo! I still don't know why Charlieton's here, but honestly, I appreciate his inclusion. Sure feels nice to have him. Did the enemy- are all the enemies respawned again? Great. Just my lock, huh? Woo! And we're all healed up. Isn't there something behind the pipe? No. There might be some pipe with something hidden behind it, but I'm not sure what. Poor, poor me. 
When, oh, when will I see my precious necklace again? Nope. Oh, okay. I thought there was gonna be some funny dialogue there. Oh, you delightful fellow. You found my necklace. I'm beside myself, truly. But you still must see me. Please lay the necklace by the door and wait a moment. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm glad the door doesn't open, you know, like, the entire way, like it does in the original. Oh, splendid, splendid. My oh-so-ravishing necklace. I'm a wash in joy. Oh? Oh, it's so jazzy. Here's the other booby ghost. <laughs> oh, oh my word. Mario, isn't it? Are you my heroic little necklace hunter? Well, my, my, my. Aren't you a fine specimen of a man? Yes, indeed. Me? I simply must thank you for your graciousness. But how to do it? Hmm, perhaps if I grabbed you and gave you a little sugar? Oh, no, 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 please, no. Here I come, handsome. Time to give you a proper thank you. Pucker up. Oh! Oh, Mario, you're just the cutest little thing I've ever laid eyes on. No! Yes, you are, and that's that. So tell me, are you truly looking for the Crystal Stars? The very same Crystal Stars spoken of by all the low lives in Rawport. Hmm, a danger filled search for beautiful jewels. How absolutely marvelous. And here I was thinking how frightfully bored I was. It's time for a change. Me? <laughs> Look at Mario's face. And besides, I do declare. That plush mustache of yours has completely swooned me. A man as manly as you must attract all sorts of trouble, and I want to keep you safe. So I dare say I'll be joining you on this adventure. I assume that's fine, Mario. Flurry, join the party. Well, that, I mean, this is technically her theme song, I guess, huh? While pressing X, Flurry will exhale strong gusts of wind that can blow things away. Alright, blow the paper away. Holy shit, there was a Goomba behind there! If she blows in the direction of an enemy, she can make its head spin for a bit. Hold down to make their head spin. I love how that this Goomba is like willingly sacrificing himself. He's like, alright, fine, I guess I'll be the tutorial guy. Oh wow, they, they completely, like, changed Flurry's tutorial. Yes! You can also squash enemies with her body slam and blow them all away with Gale Force, aka one of the best moves in the game. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's so nice that Flurry likes you, Mario. Really, it's great. Even more importantly, Flurry's chosen to join us. Let's go to the Great Tree. Okay. Anyways, let's go into a room real quick and get that super appeal. Yeah! Alright. She does have a really nice room, though. And you don't really get to see much of this room, normally. But here I am, appreciating Flurry's room. Yeah, I need to see what Goombella has to say about this room. Ooh, and a canopy bed. I'm so jealous. Ugh, I'd die to have one. And all the furniture in here is so stylish. It's like tearing me apart. Interior decoration is all about balance, and this place has got it. Let's go back to the Great Tree and find the secret entrance. Alright, well... I'll see how much I end up using Flurry, because... As much as I like Flurry in combat, I just don't really use her much. Wow, woo, wow. Again, no, I'll, I'll see. <laughs> I'll see. I mean, she won't be good until she gets lip lock, honestly. Hmm. 
Yeah, you know what? Sure. It's power smash. Ooh, HP drain. I want that. Give me that. Give me that. Yeah. Get fucked. <laughs> Dizzy attacks might miss. You just got dizzied, fool. Yeah, these guys are not really dropping any star points, though. Whoop. I suppose we can have uh, Flurry out for a while, then. Although it is really tempting to go back and get all that extra shit that I missed. I feel like they made Flurry's ability more useful in this game. Because they have a few- there's a few extra, uh, There's a few extra parts in town where you can, uh, see here. Also- Ooh! That's a little detail that they had from- since Sticker Star. RDM Premiere Issue! Rogue Port today bring you all the up-to-moment news as it happens. We have details of yet another incident at the parlor in West Rogueport. Outraged by the high Pianta prices, Goomfrey is suspected of violently shaking the Pianta Changer, causing the Pianta Changer's alarm to sound, which led to the Pianta Changer erasing or ceasing the function for a brief period. The parlor is forced to close down temporarily. The victim was quoted as saying, I am a machine. No matter how hard I am shook, I feel no pain. End interview. Shop reporter, go. Get all the hottest shopping news about all the hottest shopping spots in the world. If Petalburg's your destination, you can't miss the shop that's been the talk of the town for the last 20 years, Nifty Shop. The friendly owner has been long thought to be the most eligible bachelor in town, but word is he's secretly in love with the girl at the inn. The wise and witty shopkeeper had this to say, You only live once, so enjoy it while you can. Shop now at good old Nifty Shop. Cooking for rookies. Interesting cooking, but don't know what to cook? Try our chef's delicious suggestions. Today's yummy recipe, mushroom fry. Or shroom fry. Shroom fry sounds better. What a fuck you game. Just season your mushrooms, saute them up, and they're ready for the dinner table. Editor's note, we hope you enjoyed RDM's premiere issue. You can look forward to future editions coming your way. Yeah, I'm looking forward to more of those. Although, admittedly, the only thing I really miss so far is the mail having different colors in the original. Like, RDM issues were blue, random people were white, um, Peach was pink. Um, some were yellow, even. I miss that. That was fun. Hmm. Hmm. You can sort your items in this game. That's pretty no That's pretty cool. I already have 15 items. I gotta get rid of some. By the way, right now, I'm in the process of rendering the first episode of TTYD. But, um... How do I say it? Um, I guess I'll point this out. The first episode of TTYD, the recording got fucked. I and mean, for some reason, it wasn't capturing the, the game footage. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. It wasn't capturing the footage, so I had to redo it on, on um... Yeah, I had to restart my save file, basically. Listen to his music. Yeah, I had to reset it, and, um... It's just too bad, because... Yeah, you know, my reactions were so good, so I tried to keep in as much as my reactions as possible. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Blow it. Secret entrance! That's the secret entrance. We can finally get inside. Here I go. Aren't punies just the most adorable, precious little things? Mario, I feel I must ask. Did you know that I used to be a rather famous actress? I was a diva of the stage. I was known as Madame Flurry the world over. But the filthy air outside the spotlight repelled me, so I came to the woods. <laughs> you sound so weird. Really, do I? 
And soon enough, I glimpsed the beauty of those punies and their pure little hearts. It reminded me of my own innocence as an actress, and made me realize I shall ever love the stage. I must feel the spotlight shine on me again. I must. As you can see, these dear little punies help me find my true self. The voice editor, yes, the voice the voice mod is really funny. That's why I must help them however I can before I go on my own adventures. Okay. Mario, can you hear me? Check it out, I was able to open from the inside. Come on, over here. The time has come for me to repay my debt to the punies. Come along, Mario. Oh, yeah! Actually, real quick question. Can you blow on NPCs? <laughs> nope. By the way, I, one thing I really love... If you have voice mod, become the narrator. Do I have the narrator voice mod? I don't know, I think that was there a while ago. Um... No, the narrator one's gone. <laughs> they used to be there, though. I don't have the cracked version that gives me all the voices. I'll have to figure out how to get that sometime. Hurry up, go inside. The voice narrator is apparently the funniest one. Yeah, it's it's pretty it is pretty funny. I I used it when it was available. Hold on, let's see what Gumbel has to say about this place. It's like another world inside this tree, huh? And check out these statues. They must have been left by the ancestors of the punies. I wonder how many years the punies have lived in this place anyway. These are the kinds of questions archaeologists have to ask, you know? Boonie Boonie narrator. Actually, that does give me an, an idea. There is, there are some ones that I want to try out. I want to listen to them. Let's see what we have. We have, um, Battlefield Radio. Yo, what's up? Hello. This is Minus Bros. Yeah. I'm on the radio, bitch. Yep. This gives me a good idea. A good idea. Hold on. <laughs> well, that's one of them. That's one of the voices I can pick from. You introduced me to voice mod? Yeah. And I'm just now using it, because, um, I figured it could spice up the, the streams a bit. Um, hmm, weird. Normally everyone's right here. What the hey? Hey, Elder, everybody, come out. Hello? Alright, I have a great idea. You guys, how'd you get in here? Whoa, dude, is that, isn't he that guy? You know, uh, that Mario guy? What? He is? We better get him then. But dude, Lord Crump told us we have to tell him immediately if we found Mario, remember? You idiot, use your head. If we capture him, we'll get all the credit, man. Duh. Oh yeah, right on! Let's rock this chump, dude! One, two, three, break! I'm not sure how that sounded, but I I'm gonna have fun listening to that later. Can't flee this fight. Those guys are about to throw hands. Also, one of those twats has a um, stopwatch? That's not fun, I gotta get rid of that guy real quick. I'm not letting him get that off. Right, let's see if I can get the super guard. Oh, never mind. You're gonna go for the potion. Okay. Morty when he uses the radio. 
He's buff now. That's an X-Knot. It says here it's classified as an enemy combatant. Description stinks. You think it means they're just low-level foot soldiers? They drink these potions that make them all big and burly, and then they attack. One's easy, but if there's two or more, better watch out. Use your partner's moves and items to take them down. Alright, hold on. I want to let him attack so I can, uh, see if I can guard it. Fuck. <laughs> Completely cocked that up. Wow, wow, wow. Love the little victory musics, so they're always good. Kill Crud, that's strong, man! Dude, me flying back to Lord Crumb is such a bad idea after all, dude! Ah! Eh. Pretty slick work handling those guys, Mario. Seriously, way to go. But the question remains, where did everybody go? What could possibly make everyone leave? Finally, somebody shows up. What are you doing hiding back there? Come out for Pete's sake. I found us a powerful ally. He, he, he's huge. Uh, are you sure you're a huge mustachioed man won't try to eat us? Rick will get angry he finds out about the transmission. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Hey, who's that? Who else is back there? He's an asshole. I'm lying. Real cautious danger. Nice task. Scares me. So burly. Now, don't worry, everyone. This is Mario, and he's our friend. He's here to help. All those bad guys? Mario stomp everyone last of them. Just like those last goons. Is this it? There's so few. Well, I have to make do. Can we formally introduce Mario. Wait. How do we really know this burly fellow is our ally? He might be one of them. Juniper, what are you saying? He's not one of them. Listen, we can all fight alongside Mario and chase those goons out of here. We can take back our tree. Ha, ah, big bad Pudio. Listen to yourself trying to sound all important like. You have no idea the kind of troubles we've been through while you were gone. And why are there so few of you here anyway? What happened to everybody? Well, they've been captured by those goons. The Elder, everybody, including your sister. What? Petini? Well, everyone was captured and taken somewhere within this big tree. They said it was because we wouldn't tell them where to find some crystal thing. We told him we'd never heard of it. Oh. Well, that absolutely tears it. We've all gotta look for them right away. What are you saying, Punio? We can't do anything to those giant goons. Wow, look how angry he is, bruh. <laughs> Alright, and adding this hairy old man to our ranks won't help one bit. How can you say that? You can't know that. We have to try, don't you see? Think about it. If we all get together, we can take on anyone, anywhere. So who's with me, huh? Come on, everyone. Let's pool our strength. <laughs> punio, Punio, Punio. You'll have to convince me, because I think you're losing it. Tell you what. You and Mr. Mustache there can get the revolution started. If you can free our friends who got locked up somewhere in this tree, then I'll join your little crusade. <laughs> like that'll ever happen. Please. Fine, we'll show you. Right, Mario? Right? Come on, follow me to glory. Let's go help them. Huh, I say again, huh, by all means, help our friends. Or are you quitting now? Tell me there's no hope. That's impossible. Hey, fuck you. I mean, I'll admit, honestly, this game's a big, gets a big pass, it gets a big, uh, approval rating for me, just because of the fact that you can hammer the fuck out of people. I love that. I love that feature. Alright, I decided that I am going to get some tea. 
so um, I'm gonna I'm making some tea in the background while I play this game because I feel like tea will help set the mood better for this game. I'm not sure why, it just puts me in a better mood for some reason. Burp, burp. Oh, there's a... Don't worry, we'll be getting these hidden panels eventually. We're gonna have to go back and backtrack for those, but... Don't worry about that too much. Ooh, I forgot about the power punch. Oh fuck, I have too many items again. Yay. Use it. Oh you can you can you have the option to use your items. That's really that's a really uh smart feature actually. Yeah, I had a feeling there was gonna be a yux in this fight. Yahoo! So if you guys hear my timer go off, um, that's what- that's what's happening. That's a yucks. It says here it's a creature created in the x not labs. According to this, attacks and items won't affect it if it has mini yucks around it. So if any mini yucks appear, take this out first, duh. Oh, I think I did it too early. Mini yucks. Ooh. That's a mini yucks, a creature made to protect the yucks. It can split in two. Seems like they won't attack directly. These squirps are the reason you sometimes can't do any damage to the main yucks. They're a pain, but you have to beat them before the yucks. Flurry's pretty effective. Oh, Flurry, huh? That was too late that time. I love all the remixes of the main battle theme. That's what's really great about this game. Is you get to hear all of those. It really sets the mood, you know? I got some starter points! Hi, Syrup. Oh no, I'm out of FP. I'm out of items again. Yeah, use it. Why am I not using my items? Who knows? I gotta, gotta, gotta start doing that. I gotta start using up my items, mate. There's gonna be. Oh, dude, imagine Infinite Pit for TTYD remake. Now that would be sick. Alright, what do we got here? You know what? I'll block. Fuck it. There you go, that'll, that'll do something. There we go, I got the super guard. Yeah. Give me all the goodies. We still haven't fought Piters yet. Those are the only enemies I'm missing. Oh yeah, you know what? I forgot to do. I forgot to tattle that area. Elder. Yurio, is that you? You're looking well. Why are you so calm, Elder? You're trapped, and this is our daring rescue of you. Oh, a rescuing, is it? Well, thanks, I suppose. Those are quite exciting. But I think you ought to help the other punies before you rescue me. Where are the others? Mm, let me think. Where was I? Ah, uh, yes, right. Your question. The rest of the punies... Fortunately, I locked away in the other cell. I don't mind telling you, the other uncouth vile goons just have no consideration whatsoever. 
for the elderly. None. None, I tell you. Honestly, I have to ask. What a puny like me, what's a puny like me supposed to do in a situation like this? I ask you. Please, I want to know. But anyway, puny, you listen. Yes, listen to the elder. I have to say something. Vital to it, Hugh. Listen up. Let me think. Where was I? Oh, yes, right. Good question. <laughs> Big brother? Is that my Punio? Tuni, thank heavens. You're here. You're safe. I knew you'd come for me, Punio. I just knew it. Of course I would, my dear sister. And I brought us a mighty ally. And my tea is done. Hmm, I'll be right back. Alright, I have returned for a little while. Um, I mean, I did pour the tea, but I have to also mix in milk with it in a little bit, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be good, though. We're gonna have our tea in a little bit. Of course I would, my dear sister. And I brought a mighty ally. Look at him. We're going to get you out of there right away, I swear. You just hold on tight a second. Okay. Mario, listen, we gotta find the cell keys or we're going nowhere. Jose says this game has mod potential. There's a red cell and a blue cell. Crump must have made him hold the punies. With gaps like those between the bars, I think we could get through though. Ooh. Yes, talk to, talk to the elder. Did they nab you too, Mr. Mustache? Or would you just rather spend your time sitting in a cell with me? Past the elder that Puniper mentioned, you gotta be real old to be called elder. Being trapped in here can't be good for her health. Let's hurry up and help her. That's Punia's sister, Petuni. She really cares about her brother. I mean, you can just feel her love for him. I feel totally awful that she's trapped in here. Let's hurry up and help her and the rest of them, okay? Oh, right. Wrong thing. How you get in here when you're so big, huh? Oh. I don't know. My voice got a little high pitched. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. <laughs> Gotta get my funny voice changer. Honestly, maybe I should add a bind for this one, too. Oh man, dude, this is brutal. How much longer until we find that stupid crystal star? Not even those pushy punies were captured, knowing anything about it. And they live here. And worst of all, I got stuck holding on to this stupid cell key. Ah. Oh, so bored. I am so, so bored. Feels like a big old nap is in my near future. Uh, ouch. But Yuffie. Oh, well, isn't this a treat? We must stop meeting like this, don't you think? Hey, stop right there, Missy. You're that thieving girl we saw before. What are you doing here? Well, anyway, I heard there were nice badges to be found here, so I came looking. <laughs> Look at Gubel's face. <laughs> but who cares about that? Lovely to see you again. Lip. Ew, not another smooch. This flirting is out of control. Precious crystal star you're looking for is beneath this tree underground. Good luck finding it for the others. <laughs> Take care, my handsome stash superstar. Let's get together again sometime soon. I can't believe that girl. Ugh, I can't stand her. Hey, hang on. Oh, my aching! Hey, you! You're the dirtbag who hit me from behind, aren't you? Yeah, real fair, you scum. You fight dirty, you get dirty, and I'll be doing the dirting. More tutorial battles. And probably the easiest one so far. You guys, you can do this.
I did it! And he drops the red key. You got a red key. Looks like Crumb left behind a lot of equipment he used to search this tree. Miss Mouse was here before, but I think she took the next train to Flirtsville. Ultra Shroom. It's not like we need another Ultra Shroom, but... You know, it is what it is. The fucking Yuffie sound effect. Red Key. Elder, we're back. We're here to rescue you. Foolish child. Can you sit down this instant and keep your mouth shut? Uh, what? Why? what I do? Uh, listen, Elder. I don't know why you're mad, but we came here to help you. Got your mama, you. And mind your elders, you whelp. How could you abandon your poor sister and run off like that? Absolutely shameful. But, but Elder, I just went to find help. Help rescue you. Oh, stop with the whining. You never interrupt an uh, Elder mid-lecture. Never. You wonder why the other punies call you a doofus sometimes? That's why. But your time to be a doofus is over, because you had to lead our puny tribe one day. And my tea is done now, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm not sure if I should have put my BRB screen up, but... Whatever, it's not a big deal. Anyways, I'm back. I have my tea. It's very good. And my parents were just talking about what groceries we're gonna order tomorrow. And I said, like, give me some wraps. <laughs> give me some wraps and get me some sidekicks. Cause those, those shit, that shit's good, man. The day is not far off and that is why you need to listen. Now, first of all... Several hours later. Several hours later. What else you got that? From now on, you gotta get your act together, Punio. Yes, Elder. I understand. Ugh, only answer once. But by the way, why are you here anyway? I was just telling you, we came to rescue everyone. We started with you, Elder. Oh, is that so? With good. In that case, get me out of here already, Cremity. This sounds cold, which isn't good for the old back. And there's a stamped stench. Oh well, there she goes. Enough standing around. Just you wait, Petuni. I'll be right back for you. Okay, okay, Oni-chan. I'll be waiting. We need to find the blue key too, right Mario? Let's go downstairs and ask the elder if she knows anything. And hope the answer is, you know, brief. Oh yes, I don't want to fall asleep again. That would be fucking terrible. Would be very bad, actually. Great tree, third floor. You know, I haven't looked at the, uh... looked at this area yet. Oh yeah, Flurry's house is an area, by the way. The house Flurry moved to in order to rest her wary old soul and wary your body. It's all, it's all in its own at the edge of Boggly Woods. Uh, a very large tree where the reclusive punies live. Oh, I got all the Boggly Woods star pieces. Flurry's house. I can't get the star piece there because I don't have super boots. Same for Great Tree. So, yeah. I do love that the little star sprite they use on the map is the one from TTYD. That's like a really, really charming detail. I do like this map the more I look at it. Burm, burm, burm. Alright, let's look at all our tattles so far. Spania. A spinny with spines on its head. If you stomp on it, you'll take damage. For whatever reason, it looks really peeved. <laughs> uh, Pale Piranha. A monochrome piranha plant that attacks you with a nasty bite. If you see one, throw all you've got at it or run. A Thunderhead that attacks with lightning. Don't touch it when it's charged up or you'll be in for a shock. A 
foot soldier that uses potions and attacks by ramming. This Exnot's the lowest of Grotus' underlings. These pathetically ugly creatures were created in the Exnot laboratories. With many Ux around them, they're impervious to all attacks. Oops. Each one of the, the each one can divide into two as long as you clear these out first. Ordinary Ux are nothing to be feared. Wait a minute. There's multiple entries for these. The eldest sister and leader of the Three Shadows, she uses magic to attack. Her personality stinks. She's one of the Three Shadows, which makes her Beldum's younger sister. She has strong attack power, so it might be best to deal with her first. The youngest of the Three Shadows, she's so cute she's able to infatuate anyone. Hmm. So who are these last four slots, then? Shadow Queen, the Hands, and maybe... Something else? I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out, right? <laughs> Love the music here, by the way. This is an interesting pedestal, Mario. The ancient punies must have been really sophisticated. This is totally fascinating. I wonder where the Elder is. Wanna go check where Puniper and the others were? Wait, I don't know if there was anything in that room. Hmm, I don't really need healing that badly. Hmm. Look at this little water. A little bit of water here. Well, if it isn't Punio... Hmm, you heard me. Huh, can't say I expected you to rescue the Elder. I told you I could do it. Don't get a swelled head. This doesn't mean I'll accept you as a leader. And it definitely doesn't mean I completely trust that mustache guy either. For starters, you still haven't rescued the other punies yet. Yeah, I'm not lifting an antenna to help until you do. <laughs> you stubborn mule? Despicable. How dare you talk like that knowing what we're up against. The weirdo soldiers. Taking over our tree were bad enough, but now the Jally tribe's helping them. We must stand together now. We must face them. Don't you understand that? What? The Jabbies and the intruders have joined forces? Then maybe the Jabbies have the blue key. Shut your trap, Puniper and Punio. And mind me, you hear? You'll help Mustachio here. What'd you say your name was again? Uh, it was Marty, wasn't it? It's Mario. He's Mario. I mean, sheesh. He's only world famous. Come on. Yes, yes, simmer down. You and everyone else, help Mario clear out our tree. All right, Elder. Whatever you say. I'm not heartless or anything. To tell you the truth, I'm worried about Petunia too. And you're right, we have no choice. We must fight. Right, everybody? There you go, my punies. That's the spirit. Ten punies join your party. Thank you, guys. Hey, if you're done rallying, everyone, I have a question. We're looking for this crystal star thingamajig. Ever heard of it? The crystal star, eh? Hmm. Yes, perhaps. Hidden down, down, down beneath the bottom of this tree is a funny colored stone. But what do we do with it? All right, guard it from evil and give it to a pure heart. That's what generations of elders have been taught. Might be the crystal star. Marty, or Mario, I'm calling it. The heart seems pure enough, so that funny colored stone is yours. I don't quite see how just how yet, but I bet all of this connected to getting our tree back. You got that, Mario? Crystal star, underneath the bottom of the tree. Go for it. Oh, hold the horses. I forgot something. Before you can get the crystal star, you must save all of the captured punies. Yep, you'll need them. You'll never get that gem without the help of the punies. Not a chance. So hey, you better take this. It's the puny orb. It's the symbol of our leader. Oh, the sun! You place this in the pedestal you see here, all the punies will gather. You should never take the orb with you when you're done with it. Because, well, if you don't, everyone will just kind of hang out and stare at the orb. Got the puny orb, the emblem of a puny leader, given you to by the elder. The punies will gather when it's placed within a pedestal. 
All right, you guys, let's go rescue everybody. Oh, and one more thing. So sorry, so sorry. I've been awfully forgetful as of late. On your way to the Crystal Star, if you lose any of the punies, just come see me. What I'll do is give a whistle to call them back here. You got that? All right. Here's one of the worst parts of the game. Let's see if the puny AI is at it any better in this game. Neither blue key nor is save Petunia and the others. It wasn't on top, so maybe it's below? We'll see. Bow, bow, bow. Alright, let's put the puny orb in. You place the puny orb. Ooh, look how rainbow and nice it looks. Oh, look, a new pipe. Come on, let's jump in. Alright, yeah, I gotta make sure to remove the puny orb, obviously. Gotta strike first, baby. Alright, come on, Goombella. I mean, Goombella is just so powerful, bro. I still haven't updated my fucking Moobot yet. <laughs> Good to know, I still can't figure that out. Oh, there's a Thunder Rage in there. But I can't carry anything! God damn it. I right, use it on Mario, I guess. Yeah, I really need to start using my items. I have not been doing that. Ooh. Well, this water looks nice. I love all the rainbow colors in this area. It's so nice. Alright, so here's where um, Flurry comes in. Pellets keep floating up from the water at the bottom. Weird. That door on the left is interesting, too. If we turn that nearby panel's light green, it should let us enter. Alright, so we switch to Flurry. And we'll have her blow. Well... We'll see how annoying it gets later on. If they made if they made the puny AI better, that'll make uh, this game infinitely better. The punies are totally afraid of these piters. When a piter drops down, the punies completely lose it and bolt in every direction. You're gonna have to defeat any piters near the path you want to lead the punies along. Okay. Oh, isn't there supposed to be a piter up here? Oh yeah, <laughs> there it is. Good help. Piter. That's a piter. Ick, they gross me out. Ew. Besides its normal attacks, it might spit three web wads at you consecutively. You better have good time if you want to guard against its attacks. It also says here that the punies can't stand piters, so I'm not the only one. Just the sight of these things make punies flee in terror. I know how they feel. Alright, it's time to power balance, baby. Oh, messed it up. And I can't super guard for shit. Yeah, the timing is very strict. <laughs> Especially with an unsimplifier. Yeah. Wow. 
Oh, I mean, rip my punies, though. <laughs> they all ran away. They ran away. At least it's more obvious that there's a plane here. Shine Sprite. I love the water like effects in the walls. That's also really nice. Always really loved that. Is there really nothing back here? Hmm. Could have sworn there was a star piece back there, but I might be misremembering. Oops, no, 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 don't do that, buddy. Mario feels so fucking slow in this game. Alright, it's time to use out it's time to use flurry in combat. Let's try out Gale Force. What the fuck? It didn't work. Well that's weird. Now I'm out of FP, so you know what? Thunder Rage, go! He dropped a Volt Shroom, that's pretty nice of him. Oh, hang on, I'm not ready yet. I need to heal first. Uh, you know what? Uh, I think it's time for the fresh juice. Apparently, Zach's at Crump already. Well, I guess I got some catching up to do. Okay, let's try Gale Force again. Did they, like, nerf Gale Force or something? I swear they nerfed the L Force. What the fuck? It's not working. Wow. The Super Guarding timing is really fucking, really fucking hard. I'm genuinely struggling. No, I don't really need a mushroom, but sure, I guess. There we go. Got it now. Okay. There we go. Got the stylish, too. Finish chapter two. Good job. I noticed. <laughs> wow. That one frame super guard is pretty tough. <laughs> Lol. He just got sat on. Alright, time for a time for a badge level up again. Woohoo! <laughs> what does crump with no arms mean? <laughs> Anyways, it's time to put on another badge. Um, what can I put on? Not really a lot I can. I guess we'll take off Item Hog and put on Power Plus. Alright, let me have a look. <laughs> let me have a look at the screenshot. What the fuck? 
Oh, is that a is that a Switch 10 bug? <laughs> That's really silly. You know what? Maybe maybe I can like. Hang on, I'm gonna zoom in on this, and I'm gonna show it. Okay, here, let me, let me find it. I did, okay, well now I see what you mean. And I'm still equally confused. <laughs> Honestly, well, you know what? If you stay, if you stay for a little while, you might get to see him with arms. Oh, he actually has the key. Mario, that was a jabby. And I was right. They have the key to the blue cell. Our tribe has been enemies for a long time now. Every time we meet, we fight. A lot. And now we know they're helping the intruders and trying to seize the tree. But I used to get along with Jabble. He's of the jabby tribe. The Jabble I knew would be hiding somewhere right now, not wanting to fight anyone. I wonder if even Jabble's my enemy now. I like the world building that they're doing, though. Like, they're, um... How do I say it? They, um... Like, they're actually showing that the Jabbies are, like, working with the, you know, the sex knots. You know, Punio suggested a shop would be hiding around here somewhere. It might be a good idea for us to find it if you need items, yes? Oh, she just tells you there's a fucking shop here. So much for the mystery of the shop, huh? Yeah, Crump with no arms is very thin. -y. Flurry with a back sprite is super cursed, though. Oh, there's my my menu. This is a shop running by a puny named Pungent. I wonder if there are any rare items. How do you do day, bud? Uh, welcome to Pudge's shop. What can I sell you for? Uh, I'm, I gotta store some stuff, mate. Like this ultra shroom. This shroom steak. Shroom roast. Um, that should be good, honestly. Anything else you need? Actually, you know what? I'll sell. I'll sell, like, one of my sleepy sheeps, too. Alright. Anything else you need? Coming back anytime, bud. That's Pungent, the manager of this shop. We're a place for a shop, if you ask me. But since we're here, I guess we should buy something. This shop's hard to spot, so I've been in here hiding from these goons this whole time. But those fiends have been searching high and low for something inside this tree. What could they be looking for? You have any idea? That's Pungry of the Punies. He seems to be friends with Pungent, as far as I can tell. I guess they avoid any trouble with the X-Knots by holing up in here. Well, let's get these Ice Storm. These Ice Storm. I got another Ice Storm. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, what the heck? Mario, there's somebody here. Try talking to him. Hey, it's Jabble. Why are you hiding back there? Whoa, a jabby? Not good. That little fella's gonna get mixed up in my stock. But I suppose I can't go disciplining him. He's still a kid, after all. He is just a kid, Mario. Maybe we should, you know, take it easy on him. Wonder what his deal is. He seems so lonely, like he's watching us secretly, you know? Yeah, he almost looks like a lost little kitty cat looking for a home. Ha, <laughs> too cute. Hey, you don't think he... He wants to join us, would he? The young Jabby suddenly nodded his head. It appears you have a new ally. I had heard the rumors from Madame Flurry to them Jabbies. Yeah, the word's out. Mario can win over the hearts of anyone and everyone. I tell you, as a person, as a people person and a salesman, I must say I'm more than a little jealous. Now we have Jabble. So you knew something about it, huh? Well, listen, the Jabby Lair has an alarm. You can't go there alone. You need to know why? 
Well, he must ask. It's because when jabbies fight, they attack in one huge clump. Duh. Well, we have one ally now. I can't wait to fight Magnus and hear his theme song, dude. It's gonna go so hard. Hey, there's water running through in the inside of the great tree. You don't think, could this be how the tree carries nutrients from root to limb? You know, nature is just about the coolest thing ever. Let's go after the jabby that has the blue keys, towards the right of Soul Old 2. Yeah, actually, I'm curious. Does Flory work in this fight? Uh-oh. Everyone, it's the jabbies. It's a j 10 Jabby Squadron. Uh, let's get him. Come on. I love the fucking stock siren. It's amazing. Whoa, Nelly. We're losing men. Wow, we did it. We defeated every last Jabby here. Now we have to destroy the Jabby Hide Fortress. Boom. Yeah! Get fucked, Jabby Hive. Well, I love you can actually see it on the ground. That's so fucking badass. So we will have to come back here later. Got the blue key! Yes, with this key, we should be able to open the cell my people are locked in. Hurry, we have to free my sister and the others. Oh yeah, they, the puny AI does seem better. This area seems to be laid out for a special reason, don't you think? There must be something super important hidden here. We got the blue key. Now we can rescue Petunia and the others. And they'll never come back. And that's that. And what's gonna happen to us, End? Hey, by the way, what's that thing you've been holding on to so lightly? It's a mushroom. Oh, not to be, you know, rude, but it looks all dry and wrinkly and gross. Yeah, yeah, I know. I picked it so I can give it to my brother to eat. But then I got captured and got stuck in here, and after a few days, it dried out. Oh, really? Great story. Anyway, don't worry so much. All my complaining aside, I'm sure Puny will return. She looks so sad. Look at her. We're inside the Great Tree. This area has a total really whacked out topography. Oh, is that all I got to say, Gumbel? Okay. Oh shit, my phone is dying. I gotta charge it. Hold up. Oh, you know what? I'm stupid. My, um, my phone charger is not plugged in. So, I'm gonna get that. Okay, you know what? I thought of a brilliant idea. I'm going to make Crump with no arms the thumbnail. <laughs> that's gonna be the thumbnail, because that's too fucking funny not to be the thumbnail. And people will have no context as to why he's missing his arms. But yeah, that's, that's gonna be it. <laughs> burp, burp. Uh, you know what? I have a big brain idea right here. I'm gonna just ignore that, and I'm gonna go talk to the Elder. Let's make use of the puny Elder feature anyway. Call the punies. Get the fuck over here! I understand the situation. Just wait a moment. Punies! All right, Mario, off you go now. Hey, what's the matter? 
I love you! Well, I'm shocked. Who makes fun of an old woman like that? Honestly. Well, if I were just 10 years younger, I'd show you, but you'd best believe it. I'll have you know that in my younger days, I was considered a puny prize. I had so many suitors, I had to fight them off. <laughs> now that I think about it, there was a particularly fine boy named Punderton. Two hours later? And that's how I became the Puny Elder, the leader of the Puny Tribe. Now you know my tale, and I know yours, so good luck to you. Just a saying hi. Are you ready, Mario? The crystal star is underground, right at the very bottom of the tree. For the sake of the Puny Tribe's future, you mustn't give in to those thugs. <laughs> the I love you option is honestly amazing. It was really funny. We're so close to getting super boots, guys. I can feel it. Can you feel love? Oh, no, 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 not in there. Not in there. Hell nah. Hell nah, SpongeBob. We're inside the great tree. Looks like lots of tufts of vegetation around here. Stuff could be hidden in those things, so let's make sure to check each one, okay? I killed a lot of the enemies, so we should be more than good, honestly. What was the funny line in Book of Mario? Like, 100 breasts of plenty or something? Or like, nine? was it like 90 boobs or something? I don't remember. It was something stupid. Petunia, I'm back. We brought the key. We're opening the cell right now. Bonk. There's so many of them! Oh, Nichan! Little Petuni! Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Nope, I'm fine. Thank heavens. Hey, hey, Oni chan, I have something for you. I meant to give this to you sooner, but. Mushrooms are your favorite, aren't they, Oni chan? But, well, this one kinda got dried out. Oh, nasty. Big brother. I mean, Oni-chan. It was icky, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Nope, no, uh, uh, uh no, nope, not at all. Mm, delicious, very, uh, very, uh, yummy. Oni-chan, you okay? Give me a hug, Petuni. Hey, quit it, Junio, come on. Don't get all mushy, everyone's staring. Well, it's just a really sweet gesture, that's all. I was nothing. 90 breasts have joined your party. <laughs> now there are 101. Oh yeah, I read that already. With the puny's helping us, we'll find that crystal star in no time. I think it's at the very bottom of this tree. Whoop. Okay, they're not that smart, but... Ooh, I like that the percussion gets stronger every time, uh... The punies, like, join you. I'm just glad I don't have to worry about the punies getting fucking stuck on, like, the edges of the environment anymore, though. Thank god. Great floor. Alright, let's see, let's see how, let's see if the game fixed my problems with the original.
Oh my god, none of them got stuck, dude. Let's fucking go. The punies actually work like they're supposed to. Holy shit. Whoa, mama. Whoa, mama. Alright, let's continue on. I feel like people would, would not have hated Chapter 2 if it was- the, if it played this, like, smoothly, you know? Having no fucking problems with the punies, dude. Okay, but we're gonna have problems, though. Because there is a piter here. Oh, oh no. Not what I meant to do. No, let's use Koops, because Koops can get a first strike here. Piter alert. Wow, why are they so spread out, dude? It's weird. You know, I got a free Ice Storm, let's use it. Yeah, I get fucked. We gotta kill- we gotta kill both of them. There's four of them now. Um, these ones I can't kill instantly, though. Sleepy Sheep. Go. Apparently, Zach was saying sleep got buffed, so I'm curious to see how accurate that is. I still got multi-bounce, right? Yeah, they are not waking up, regardless of what I do. Unfortunately, Koops can't hit that flying one now. Defend, I guess. Amazing. Oh no, fuck, I keep falling, dude. Right, it's probably for the best, because we wanted to come get the punies anyway. Alright, let's go hit this block now. Badge is this. Damage dodge, P. What's the- what's the deal with that little thing there? Oh, oops, now I meant to do. I want to see what Goombella has to say about this room. This must be one of the most wide open spaces inside the Great Tree, huh? That tree looks big from out there, but I lost all sense of dimension in here. I could totally get lost in here for, like, days. Everyone is the jabbies. It's a 100 jabby squadron. Uh, charge! Come on, Mario. Yeah, fuck him up. Let's see how this goes. Um, I think we're gonna lose. Oh, that was awful. They walked all over us. We have to regroup and try again. Yeah, that can happen sometimes. Oh, they- oh, the- they actually do tell you the wind helps. I always- on, I always wonder if that was a myth, but... I don't know.
Yeah, that definitely, that definitely helps. Trying to fuck him up. Boom. Yeah, that shit is good. You can even see, like, the dead jabbies on the ground, bruh. Crazy. Oh boy, got plant gangs. Um, not really a whole lot I can do here. I guess we could have Flurry use like an FP item or something. Yo, let's go! I super guard the planet gang again! Honestly, though, the su all these- it really does feel like I have to learn the super guards all over again. It really does feel like that. So I think this is where Star Piece is. Yeah, I was thinking of that pipe. I always get that one mixed up with another one. We're just gonna sneak past that plant gang real quick. Wow, it looks so painfully fake in this version. <laughs> Yep, the lock, the lock door. Uh, huh? What? What just happened? <laughs> hey, he actually has his arms this time. Man, you guys are dense. Really, a little trap, huh? And boy, did you bite on it. Right, let me let me listen to this theme song. Is a vibe, dude. I always love this song a lot for some reason. And I love this, I love the synthesized, like laughing in the music as well. I saw you sticking that silly stone on the pedestal, so I made a fake one. Awesome. I mean, I knew it was great, but seeing you fall for it really gives me a warm fuzzy. <laughs> Talk about complete idiots. You guys are so dumb, it hurts. Anyway, with you fools out of the picture, I can take my time hunting the Crystal Star. <laughs> Well, he had his arms that time. Mario, what should we do? Uh, we have to find a way out of here. But what can we do? Well, first of all, we can get the fucking peony orb back. Oh, let me out. My, such wonderful drama. Imagine we have to do something now, don't we? Mario, think of something. I'm counting on you. Well, we have this switch here. Pardon me a moment. Don't these odd columns look somewhat familiar? Get a free switch there. Well, this black switch. The black switch is cool. Ah. 
<laughs> oh, I feel I might swoon. What was that? I wonder. Gotta, I gotta fuck with these bushes first. Pizza is made of Gatorade. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna dodge you. It's still broken. I think I don't think it get fixed. It gets fixed until after the chapter. Also, apparently people hate the reflective surfaces in this game. I don't see why. I don't see what's wrong with them. I think they look really fucking cool. Some people bitch about the weirdest shit. Didn't we see pillars with patterns on them somewhere? Maybe on some level two where the jabbies were? Alright, I remember the combination though. Sun, moon, beauty, star. I'd never forget that combination. Love that. I love that animation, too. Alright, we're about to get something really importante here. We need to find a way to rescue all the peonies. Alright, here's this important room. That's a big treasure chest. The peonies must have left it. What could it be, you think? Well, only one way to find out, am I right? This is a big treasure chest. There must be something amazing inside. That's a big treasure chest. Seems like there must be something amazing in there. You got super boots! And Toadette is here! Hey there, I'm Toadette. Congratulations on getting the super boots. You'll be able to use a new jump technique now. Let's practice it, okay? If you press A at the right moment when jumping, you'll do a spin jump. The trick is to press A right after you jump. Okay! Wow, that was perfect. You're, you're natural. Are you clear on the controls? Okay, that's just super. It looks like you've mastered the, sup the spin jump. You can smash these spots like this with your spin jump. Oh, one more thing. You can use the spin jump in battle, too. Your attack power for jumps has been boosted as well, so enjoy that the next time you're in battle. Well, I hope to see you again soon. Good luck on your adventure. Toadette's so heckin' cute in this game, dude. Because the, the, the only game she was in before this was Double Dash. And so, she hadn't had her design, like, fully updated yet. So they, they still have that, like, old-ass Double Dash design for her. If we act now, we might be able to rescue all the punies. Hold on. I need to get a badge first. No! For I meant to switch partners. Alright, Koops, it's your turn. It's your turn to shine. Whoop! Yeet. Alright, we got Charge! Which is honestly not a bad badge. Pretty good. Pretty good all around. I'd have to find something to get rid of, though. But I don't know what I could get rid of. Oh, fuck. That Shine Sprite's gonna be a bitch to get. Fuck, I, I, the depth perception is really messing me up here. Okay. There we go. I can platform, I swear. 
Alright, so now we can get all the panels that we missed out on. I don't know where every single one is, though, in the Great Tree. I don't think there's one in here. Is there one in here? Hmm. My memory... My memory's not good. Well, anyway, let's get the punies real quick. Alright. Yeah, this is where our adventures have led us, to getting super boots, finally. Burp, burp. I don't think any of these rooms have super or super panels in them. What are you? Star piece panels, yeah. Ah, finally I can break those. All right, here we go. All right, guys, I'm gonna save you. Oops, I didn't mean to fall, though. We did it! Yes, yes, now we can get out of here! And the music's back! Yay! I'm not sure where I should put my tea. And I'll put my thermos over there. It's not a bad spot for it. Put it next to my window. We act now, we might be able to rescue all the punies. Wow. Never has it been so easy to blow punies into a hole. Thank God, man. Alright, um... Yeah, you know what? Let's just let's just continue on with the great tree. I'll get that panel later that I saw. Okay, it's not 100% perfect, but it still feels way greater than the original. Man, feels great. Bonk. Get bonked, bitch. Dude, I'm gonna be so strong now. I got multi-bounce. Yeah. I'm too OP for you guys. They, dropped, they actually dropped a stopwatch. I mean, we're getting, like, really close to the end of this dungeon now. And I remember one of these having something. Ooh. Oh, it's just three yuxes. See, man, all it takes for a modern Paper Mario to be good is just have the battle system be like this. Like, I'm having so much fun with this game. Sub level four now. So yeah. What I, I never tattled those area I never tattled that previous area with Goombella. Hold on. <laughs> I love I love tattling everything, man. I, I I never got to read much of Goombella's text as a kid, so I'm doing this I'm doing myself a favor. We're inside the great tree. Grass and other plants growing here, isn't that cool? 
Being the great tree is like a host organism. Biology is so cool. This area makes me feel like I'm exploring a watery swamp even though we're in a tree. With the peonies helping us, we'll find the crystal star in no time. I think it's at the very bottom of this tree. Take a dump. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Oh, I need. There's something I need to know. Oh, okay. Th thanks, Coops. Thanks, Coops. There's something I gotta know about Coops. Do they? They still have the funny thing where Coops just falls into the water. Aw, he doesn't fall into the water anymore. That's too bad. That was a really funny thing in the original. Water. Water world. Alright. Get that free dizzy dial, you know, and get shrink stomp. Yay! I love just get I love just getting all these badges and stuff. Even though I never use Shrink Stomp or Soft Stomp, I just love having them. They're so so charming, you know. Alright, get that shine sprite. Actually, what is my progress so far? Half the star species star species? Half the star pieces and all the shine sprites. Good. All right, here we go. We made it to the end, guys. Uh, what's happening? Oh no, what's happening? So that's how you get to this room. Honestly, that line of dialogue never made sense to me as a kid. But with that extra bit of dialogue before it, it makes a lot more sense now. Oh, I did not know there was a mushroom in there, to be honest. Maybe that's new to the remake? Uh, let me see. That thing's got to be around here somewhere. Uh, what's that? Whoa, sounds like a mob. Better clear out. Listen to this music. Where the fuck did he go? Crump is just gone. So where the fuck did my punies go? Oh. Okay, they're still stupid a little bit at times. Here's a pedestal. Let's try putting the puny orb there. By the way, do we have all the punies here? Um. It says we have a hundred. Where the fuck is the last one? Hello, last puny. Where'd you go? Oh, there he is. Okay, the peonies are still st kind of stupid. Okay, wait, hang on. Real quick. This must be the lowest chamber. Saying it's solemn here is an understatement. None of these statues glares? I feel like the peonies' ancestors are watching us. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, there it is. Wow, Mario, check it out. The Crystal Star. Score. Oh. Hey, you. I see you, jerk. Mario, is that weasel? <laughs> Man, am I luckier? What? Or am I just good? 
Okay, I'm noticing a massive change with this cutscene. They put Crump on the bottom instead of the top of the room. That's such a random change. Oh, you say you need a crystal star, Lord Crump? Boom, falls right into my lap. Still, this is humiliating. You shouldn't have been able to escape that cell. So, for insulting my awesome trap, I'm gonna repay you with a little present. Know what it is? Oh, just a little something I like to call a remote time bomb detonator? I'm gonna use this to bury you and those scrawny punies in rubble. Sound fun? Well, enjoy your final minutes inside this dank old tree. And with that, pow, I'm gone. This is so not cool. We gotta get out of here right now. We got like new music, dude. That's cool. Fucking escape, escape music. Holy crap. Man. I love that the timer keeps going. <laughs> oh, yeah. Isn't there a star piece in this room? Or am I crazy? There is. The question is, how many, how many star pieces does it give us? 66%. I guess I'm missing like two or three then. I love that they made like brand new songs. You know, that is pretty cool that they did that. Hmm, what are the star pieces I am missing? I'm gonna have to figure out where that is. Oh well, guess we're not getting all the punies with us. No, fuck the punies. You can, you, you can just say fuck the punies. I'm gonna go for the star piece panel down here. Where was it again? Oh, there it is. Hey, and there one in like the puny elder cell. I think I have enough time to get there and back. Yeah. yeah I know, I'm really keeping you guys in suspense here. <laughs> I don't actually know where the last star piece in this place is, though. Okay, well, it's not in the red cell. I think it's in the blue cell. There we go. But I think I'm still missing a star piece in here. Oh, no, I got all of them. Okay, we're good. Alright, we're done. We're done here. Man, am I good or what? Okay, I'm gonna do something funny that I, uh... I'm gonna do something funny that I did in... I do in the, the original sometimes. Well, first of all, I'm gonna save. Before we do this. <laughs> I'm gonna save. And then we're gonna... Because doesn't the timer keep going in the cutscene? <laughs> Yeah, the timer still goes in the cutscene. <laughs> it's really funny. You won't be going any farther this away. What? Are you for real? Move it, you old geezer. What? Do you just call me an old geezer? Where do you get off talking like that? You got no respect, brat. Don't you think my age? 
has nothing to do with my might. Even if it kills me, I won't let you through. I'm ready, Elder. Elder power, activate. Whoa, what's your problem, Grandma? You got an ear tickling your brain or what? Oh, oh, what the? Ah, can't take another step. Ugh. Put a time for my stupid back to start acting up. You hot-headed old coot. You dare defy me? I can shine my boots with you. Oh, I, th I think this is like around the time where he turns off the timer, so I'm gonna like let it sit for a second. Stop it right there, jerk. You aren't going anywhere, Mr. Stinker. <laughs> I really need to see- I really need to see the explosion. The explosion shit is really funny. And you know what? I guess we're gonna get our first game over, too, because I really want to show off all the unique game over sequences. And this is one of them right here. Unfortunately, it seems we still have an extra minute left. Even with all my crazy backtracking, I still ended up having like a minute left and all the reading all the dialogue and shit. Well, don't know what to do about that. I love how it looks like an actual like clock. I find that pretty cool. All right, well, what am I gonna do for the next you know thirty seconds? I don't know. Apparently, I also have. Wait a minute. The uh the voice mod shit got changed again. Now it's gas mask and helium. What the fuck? It got changed like in the middle of my stream. What the hell? That's so weird, dude. All right. Anyways, let's see this. Let's see this. Um, this explosion. Oh! <laughs> Look at all of them freaking out. <laughs> oh, there's the game over sequence. Try again. Retry that last scene. Oh, okay. Uh, well, good to know that there's not really any threat. That was that wasn't re that was an intentional game over though. I wanted to show that off. Give us the crystal star and drag your sorry self out of this tree forever. <laughs> you guys are wild, you know that? Oh well, guess I better shut off this timer. Okay, you pests. One pummeling coming up with extra fists. Metal fists, that is. Alright, here comes big ass. Awake, Magnus from Grapple. Time for the technological thrashing and enjoy. Yo, listen to this fucking remix. Big booze. Fucking amazing. I'm turning this shit up. Are you crying yet? Yeah, sorry, but this thing isn't armed with tissues. Well, Magnus Von Grapple has that effect on people. Total weeping terror. And you ain't seen nothing yet. Check out the power on this bad boy. Whoa, he is powerful. Is 
Still, something about this metal freak just doesn't seem right to me. Keep your eyes open. Can't flee this fight. Me. Listen to this fucking beat, dude. Now it sounds like a fucking dance party, dude. Best Magnus on Grapple. It's a giant robot built by the X-Knots. Lord Crump drives it. Its most effective attack is one that takes advantage of its size, a smothering stomp. It can also shoot out its fists, which do these super gnarly rocket punches. Its fists have a max HP of 2, an attack of 4, and a defense of 0. Its fists are super powerful, so it's best to knock them down fast. The thing about his robot is, I can't really tell if it looks cool or really, really stupid. And we're not even going to discuss the color. Yeah, this fucking music goes hard, dude. I'm getting too greedy with my power bounces. <laughs> Here it comes, suckers! Magnus Von Punish! Oh, he like hesitated. Wow. I don't know, I don't know if I got capped or if I just suck. Oh, it ain't over yet. This is so awesome. Check out what the else this guy can do. You're gonna love it. This might not work out too well for you. I need to see the X-Fists attack, though. This shit's gonna go hard. Alright, anyways, it's time to heal up my FP. Go, Koopa T. Let's go! I super guarded the fists! Oh wow, okay. I wasn't expecting that. Dude, I can't believe I fucking super guarded the fist. That's sick. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, well, oh, I tried to super guard that. Nah, get out of here. Don't want that. Shite. <sighs> Oh, not good. Can't last. Oh man, the little like stutter he does fucks me up. All right, well he's dead. He's fucking dead. Yeah. This could be the end. Oh, yeah! Ooh, those fucking effects. Oh, oh, oh. No! Magnus Von Grapple, how could we lose?
Oh. Oh. Oh, I'll remember this, losers. Lord Crumb summons us, dude. Ah, retreat, run away. Wait up. Oh. Ow. My kneecaps. We did it, Mario. Yes. Was that great or what? They're gone. This place can go back to being the peaceful place I remember. According to the legend, we can ha you can have the Emerald Star, the crystal star that resides in this tree. Yeah! You got the crystal star! Your star power is now three, and Mario learned the special move clock out! And so, after pummeling Lord Crump, Mario obtained the second Crystal Star. With the x knots gone, peace will once again prevail throughout the Great Tree. The Boggly Woods echoed with the puny songs of joy. But this may not be the last of our, our heroes here from the vile x knots They will surely continue to stand in Mario's way and try to put a stop to his efforts.